If you're thinking about starting an online store or building a brand as a new entrepreneur, you've probably come across both Shopify and Squarespace as potential platforms to build your website. While they may seem similar at first glance, there are some key differences that could make one better suited for certain types of sellers over the other. In this video, we're going to explore the main pros and cons of each platform, break down what sets them apart, and go over how each one might align with different business goals or selling styles. Whether someone is focused on building a full e-commerce business, creating a brand-driven website, or simply wants a clean and simple place to start selling online, understanding the strengths and limitations of both Shopify and Squarespace can help guide that decision. If you're also still in the test run phase with Shopify and you're deciding between which plan to choose, I do have a way that you guys can get your first three months on Shopify for just $1. I'll link that Shopify sign up link in my description box for if you'd like to spend those three months setting up your shop without having to commit just yet to a long-term plan. Shopify can be a strong option for new online sellers who are specifically focused on building an e-commerce business because it's built from the ground up with selling products in mind. One of the biggest benefits is that Shopify is designed to handle everything related to the selling process, from inventory management to payment processing and shipping integration. For sellers who want a platform that makes it easy to scale as they grow, Shopify can offer a foundation that's already optimized for e-commerce, which can be helpful when managing a growing product catalog or fulfilling orders across different regions. Another strength is the large ecosystem of apps and integrations available in the Shopify App Store, which gives users the flexibility to customize their store with features like upsell tools, email marketing support, customer review plugins, and a wide variety of design elements. Shopify also has a wide range of professional looking themes that are mobile responsive and designed to convert, which can be useful for sellers who want a store that looks clean and polished without needing to hire a developer. In terms of ease of use, Shopify can be relatively beginner friendly for users who are new to building websites, and the platform includes guided prompts that walk users through many of the main setup steps. Another point worth considering is that Shopify is known for its fast and secure checkout process, which can help improve the shopping experience for customers and potentially reduce friction at the point of purchase. However, there are also a few things to keep in mind before deciding to go with Shopify. One possible downside is that some features and customizations may require third-party apps, which can increase the overall monthly cost depending on what a user wants to add. While the basic platform includes a lot of core e-commerce tools, sellers who want advanced reporting, marketing automation, or specialized features may need to explore paid apps or higher tier plans. Another huge part of most Shopify sellers' website journey is building and creating their websites, specifically choosing a theme that fits their brand style and their niche. This website you see here is one of my Shopify theme templates. I offer a wide variety of pre-designed and laid out Shopify themes made specifically for different types of businesses, so you can build a beautiful, high converting online store without the hassle of starting from scratch. Whether you're in beauty, skincare, makeup, clothing, dropshipping, or even coaching, I have themes for varieties of different niches with layouts optimized to showcase your products and services beautifully and professionally. Each theme comes as a zip file, which you can easily upload right into your Shopify account. Just head to your themes page, click add theme and upload the file. Once it's installed, you can publish it and start customizing it with your products, branding and content. Every theme bundle includes a step-by-step -step installation guide with screenshots to walk you through the process from start to finish. If you're ready to save hours of design time and finally have a Shopify store that looks great and complements your products, you can grab one of my Shopify themes from my website, which I'll link in the description box. Overall, Shopify may be a good fit for people who are launching product-based businesses and want an e-commerce focused platform with room to grow but it's important to weigh the trade-offs, especially around costs, flexibility, and the types of tools needed for each specific business model. Squarespace can be a helpful option for new online sellers who want an all-in-one platform that focuses on both design and functionality, especially if the visual presentation of their brand is a top priority. The platform includes built-in blogging capabilities, podcast support, and scheduling tools, which can be helpful for entrepreneurs who want their site to function as more than just an online store. For example, sellers who plan to build a brand around lifestyle content, editorial posts, or a personal brand might appreciate how easily Squarespace lets them combine products with content. 
In terms of e-commerce, Squarespace does offer online selling tools, including product listings, inventory tracking, discount codes, and payment processing, but those tools are generally more streamlined and may not offer the same level of depth or customization as more e-commerce focused platforms. For sellers with small product catalogs or those just getting started with digital or physical products, the e-commerce features in Squarespace can be sufficient, especially if the main focus is on design, branding, or multi-purpose use. That being said, there are also some limitations that are important to consider. Compared to more e-commerce dedicated platforms, Squarespace may offer fewer third-party app integrations and less flexibility when it comes to adding advanced features or custom functionality. While it does support basic marketing tools like email campaigns and SEO settings, users who need more robust automation, product upselling, or complex checkout options may find those features more limited on Squarespace. Additionally, since all Squarespace templates are built within the same framework, custom design changes beyond the built-in options can sometimes require extra work or knowledge of CSS, which might not be ideal for users who want complete creative control. The pricing structure is also something to evaluate carefully, especially for sellers who want to access all e-commerce features as those may only be available on higher tier plans. Overall, Squarespace can be a solid option for people who want a visually appealing website with built-in e-commerce functionality and don't necessarily need advanced sales tools or integrations right away. It tends to work well for creative entrepreneurs, service-based sellers, and those who want to present a polished online brand with products being just one part of their overall business. In contrast, platforms like Shopify are more geared toward users who are building a product-first business with the goal of scaling a full online store. Squarespace is often recognized for its emphasis on design flexibility and visual storytelling, which can make it a strong option for sellers who want their website to serve as both a storefront and a brand showcase. The platform is particularly appealing to creators and service providers who may be selling a small selection of products or offering digital downloads, memberships, or bookings. Its interface is user-friendly with built-in tools that allow for easy updates, layout, and mobile responsiveness. Each platform offers a different kind of experience and tool set, and the right choice really depends on what kind of seller someone is, how complex their product offerings are, and how much customization or growth they want to plan for in the long run. Thanks so much for watching. I will have my Shopify themes linked in the description box. 